All right, greetings, guys. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna go get some Payway. If you haven't had Payway, it's kind of like a kind of like a fancier version of Panda Express. If you've had Panda Express, I'm sure a lot of you guys have had Panda Express. What did we get? Spicy Korean barbecue steak with like vegetables and rice, and then also some broccoli and chicken. That's what we got. So we're gonna be heading down there, and let's head down there. All right, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there it is right there. That's Payway. That's Payway. And I got all these cars here. Got traffic galore. Gotta wait. Again, that's Payway. That's Payway for no one that knows what Payway is. Look it up, it's pretty good. Oh, so I got the food. Let's take a quick look. Besides the napkins, obviously, we're gonna eat napkins, guys. Napkins are good for you. Not really, please don't eat napkins, that's bad. Uh, we got sweet chili sauce, we got some chili sauce. This is the chili sauce, I don't know if you guys have had it before. Chili sauce is really good. We got some hot mustard, tons of napkins. We got the broccoli and chicken, as you guys can see there with the brown rice. This is actually really good, and mine's on the bottom. Where is it? Uh, what else is it? I don't know, I just gotta get home, because I'm hungry. Point is, you guys can see the broccoli and chicken. So like just a little, right there, there it is. The broccoli and chicken. Gotta get back home. We got some starving people at the house. All right, see you in a bit. All right, there we go. So, finally home, and there we go. You got this uh, Korean barbecue, spicy, with uh, some vegetables and brown rice. As you can see in here, as you can see in here, you got a whole lot of different selection going on here and all I know is I'm hungry and so is everyone else and I got some chopsticks right here gotta use chopsticks because well we're eating Chinese food right let's take a bite you guys want to take a bite real quick there you go where is it there it is go ahead and take a bite guys you guys the channel gets the first bite there you go That tastes good. Let me know what you guys think of this food right here. What else we got going on? You got some broccoli chicken with uh, steamed rice. And we got some broccoli chicken with some brown rice as well. Here's the broccoli chicken with the steamed rice. You guys like broccoli chicken? Let me know your favorite type of Chinese food down below. Assuming you like Chinese food, leave a comment. And right here we got some broccoli chicken again, but with brown rice this time. The other one was white steamed rice. And look at those pieces of broccoli. I know I'm hungry. I need to test some of that broccoli. Just kidding. It's not my food. I would, uh, let's just say that would be my last meal if I ate that piece of broccoli right now. All right, time to eat. Let's go. All right, there we go. So we just finished eating, had some payway food, and had the Korean barbecue steak with vegetables and rice that thing was really good but anyways so we're gonna get to what we're gonna talk about today and talk about these cool radios we got these radios in the room here they're from i don't know i'm just gonna show you guys let me know what you think if you guys like radios uh old radios we got some sony's in here and we got i don't know what else we got in here we got a whole bunch of stuff but um i'm just gonna go ahead and point the camera at that and you guys tell me what you think what you see and is there anything cool here let me know Going down there. Let's check. All right, so here we got this old Sony radio. We got a whole bunch. We got one like right here. We got this radio right here. Um, we got another one right here. And we got another one down there on the floor. But let's start with this big one right here. Um, what exactly is this big one? Well, from what I can tell, I mean, obviously, it's Sony. Sony's like a really big brand. And, I mean, it's obviously the speaker. Uh, you got all the different stations, you got all the knobs. Let me really get in there so that way you guys can see it. I don't want to trip over some of the stuff that's here. But uh, here, let me zoom in. Let's zoom on in. There we go. So we got the Sony, like right here. Um, we got different woofers. I'm just going to get close. I'll just move this box real quick. Alright, there we go. 
There we go. So we got all this right here. Um, we got FM, AM, and of course, you can change the station however you like. You got the little knob like right here. Go ahead and change it. Um, you got the play button, you got the pause buttons, because up here, I'm assuming that's for like a CD. So you can put a CD in there. It's kind of dusty. But um, yeah, you got this radio here. Uh, what else we got down here? To be honest, I haven't really looked at these. They've just been in the room. Um, there are all the different settings. You got the balance. You got the bass. Oh, yeah, right here. Look, you got the different functions. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there. You got the bass, the balance, the equalizers. If there's any DJs or anything like that in here, please tell me what all this stuff does. I understand bass. Um, we got the CD, AM, FM, and tape. So cassette tapes, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, so that tells you how old this thing is. Let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. Right now it's set on CDs. And of course you got like the volume right here, the little volume knob. And down here you got the cassette tape player. Along with the speakers. Uh, this other radio here. Uh, I don't even know what brand this is. Let's see. Let me scoot on over. Over yonder. And see what we got here. Um... I don't want to like break it. Let's see. Ugh. Let me flip it around. There we go. It looks like it is a Compo sound machine. A Compo sound machine. Uh, someone Google that for me. Tell me what it is exactly. Um, obviously, it's a radio, and you got all the buttons here. You got the the pause. The eject, the rewind, the forward, record, dubbing, uh, whatever that does. The dubbing. Yeah, oh, let me fix my camera. Hold on. There we go. Fix the camera. Um, we got the dubbing. This thing's like trying to focus on things right now. Let's move out a bit. Zoom in, maybe. There we go. Oh, autofocus. There we go. Play. Record, sync dubbing, pause, stop, eject, just your standard keys. One touch, synchro dubbing. That's what it is. Got the little antenna up here. It goes up. And of course, you can raise it, lower it. Um, I don't know if it works. I really don't know. But uh, let's see. Um, yeah, you got a lot. Oh, it's a Magnavix. That's what it is. That's the brand. Magnavix. Oh, hold on. There we go. Let's move this aside. Got a box down here. And ah, there we go. We got the Magnavix. We got playback recording cassette deck. So for cassette tapes again. Um, down here, a tape counter. You got the deck selector, the dubbing speed. Honestly, it's just a radio. To be honest, I don't know if... Yeah, it's just cassettes. Um, there's two cassette players right there. Um, but the main thing is the radio. He's got a whole lot of radios. Yeah, it's Magnavix. That's what it is. If anyone could tell me anything about this thing besides the obvious, um, please do. Leave us a comment down in the comment section. And I'll read them. I'll read them all. Got another button that says radio. What is it? Mo oh, mode selector. Radio or tape dubbing. Okay, so you have an option. You can either listen to the radio. It's selected to the radio. And, uh, yeah, I guess you can record tapes and stuff on here, too. I guess this was, like, kind of fancy. But, um, yeah, got all these radios. Let me zoom in over here. Look at all the buttons again. Tell me what you guys think. Is it cool? Is it so-so? Let me hold it up. Let me get it. Ah. Got a lot of stuff here, so. There we go. You got this right here. This thing's kind of heavy. But, um. That's, oh, yeah. Oh, got to put it down. This thing's really heavy. There we go. Maybe I can hold it with my other hand. My other hand's, uh. Let me zoom out. 
There we go. Zoomed out. Give it a nice look at right here. Here we go, Magnavix. That's the radio. Do a nice, uh, what do you got here? FM stereo, power on, battery checks, tones, volume. You got the radio, tape dubbing. You got a place for your headphones. You got the power button, cassette. Just like the radio frequency, which one you want to, the station you want to listen to. Old stuff, definitely not. Spotify or Apple Radio. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Definitely not that. And let's get to the third one. Alright, so this is the third radio here. Um, this is actually a Panasonic, and this thing's actually pretty big. Um, I'd say it's a, probably like about a foot wide, I'd say. It's about a good foot wide. Um, again, I don't really know much about this. This is just here. Um, you got, of course, the tuning. You got the balance. You got the volume. Tuning, the balance, the volume. Uh, what else? Sleep mode, radio, tape, play mix on, input line. You got a microphone. And you got a mode. Where is it right here? Here we go. You got the stereo mode or the mono. I mean, that's still in stuff today. That's still in radios and whatnot today. Over here, it looks like we got the band selector and the meteor, or not meteor, meter selector. FM, AM, of course. And then tuning battery or the level. You got the eject, stop, fast forward, rewind, play, record, pause. Of course, red. I mean, that's pretty universal for recording. Pause for, well, pause, play, all that stuff. Just your regular radio. You got a handle up here. Carry it around because this thing is a tank. You also got the antenna. You can lift up the antenna. And the antenna, of course, does antenna things. You go on the side, you got all the different inputs and whatnot. You got a mic. You have room. Wow, you actually have room for a microphone. I haven't looked at this, so if I sound surprised in some of the things that I'm seeing, like I'm actually shocked. Uh, this one has a microphone support. You got like a remote. Um, you got your different inputs and outputs, whatnot. Line in, line out, all that. Um, you got the speaker like right over here. Um, of course, this is just like the indicator up here for like the frequency, just like in your car if you want to listen to like AM, FM, and then obviously there's no Sirius satellite or iHeartRadio on here, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they don't have that, but just your standard radio stations, of course. Down here, you can put the cassette tapes in there. Uh, cassette tapes. Yeah, for the, that's before uh, CDs. So, for anyone that's seen this and they don't know what a cassette tape is, just Google it, please, or ask someone that's older than you. They'll definitely know. Uh, FM, AM, FM stereo, radio cassette recorder. And there's the model... Just the counter again for the tape. Just your standard speakers. I guess like the microphone ports and like jacks and stuff are like over here. Give like a quick zoom out. That's how it looks. And we'll come like right over here. Wow, that thing's huge. Okay, wow. Um, tuning, I guess for like a microphone? I don't know. It says you tune it. I don't know. I don't want to touch it because I'm not going to. I don't want to break it. But, uh,. Yeah, those are the, that's the radio. That's the third and final radio that's here. I want to say there's more in the house, but I think this is the only one that is here right now. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like these radios? Do you like that I, I mean, I can look up more and do a whole video on this thing, but I mean, I'm making these videos and posting them on the internet, hoping that someone can tell me, besides, I mean, I can Google it, right? I mean, but what's the fun in that? I want to see if anyone's got any stories or any cool information on what they know or and whatnot about well all these radios over here you got this over here you got these ones right these other two so leave a comment subscribe to the channel um, yeah leave a comment subscribe to the channel and tell me what you guys think about these radios and the different you got a, a Sony a Panasonic you got two Panasonics and a no we got a Sony a Panasonic and a 
what did I say, a mag Magnavix, 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 how do you say it? That's what we got, so leave a comment. Um, I'm gonna zoom in real quick on these things again, and those are the radios, so let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later guys, hopefully you like them. All right, so as I was saying, those are the those are the radios. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of the radios. If there's any other any other things that you guys want to see. I mean, I'll, I got a whole lot of stuff in this room, and a whole lot more to be shown. I mean, I could be making videos the rest of my life in here, just by making videos and seeing your guys' reaction on saying, "Whoa, those radios are old, man!" Like, is that from like? World War One or something, and I'll say, no, they're not from World War One. They're probably from like I don't know, 50 years ago, <laughs> at least. So I got a lot of stuff, and I got a lot of I got one terabyte of video space on my camera. So one terabyte, that's a lot of videos. So tell me what you guys want to see. Um, leave a comment, subscribe, share the video, um, post it on Facebook and your Discords, on your Instagrams, your TikToks. I don't know, whatever you guys do, go tell your friends. Assuming you got friends too. Hopefully you have friends. Everyone should have at least one friend. If not, well, you got a friend here. And uh, yeah, leave a comment. So I'm out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later guys, see ya.